Hey YouTube, Josh here from RC Ranch. In today's video, I'm uh, at my new warehouse. It's just a storage unit and I've kind of put tables and uh, shelving and everything up in here. But right now I am in the middle of photographing 50 items. I have 45 here on the table and I've just been photographing them from right here. I take the clothes, or the, they're all pants right now. But I take a pair of pants, throw them on here, photograph, and then I package them into a bag right here, fold them nice in the bag, and then I put them uh, on the table. And so right now, they're numbered up to right here, because this is where I stopped, and then I did 10 just now. Um, but this is 1256 and then it goes numbered all the way up to 1290 here and then it'll just keep going and this is nice I just got another table so now I'll be able to do 50 at a time uh, right here will be 50 and then I'll just sit down here and if I have any questions with the items when I'm working on the computer here I can just look over and see all right it looks like it's beige or those are blue that's blue with red stripe I can be uh, you know a lot faster by doing it this way so basically I just take them from the photo board set them on here and then I list them all and now once they're listed then I'll just grab one of these boxes and I have been setting it on here and then I just put the clothes into it and then put the box back so it's really nice i think i skipped a lot of uh, extra steps i just tried yesterday moving this to the back there and yeah, there's no reason to do that right now um it's just it'd be a lot of extra walking basically so i'm trying to keep everything central to the location i guess um, i want to be able to have all the the clothes and stuff really close to the bins and i want to have the unlisted stuff close to the photo table so this is just what's working best right now. So I'm gonna do the rest of these five here and then uh, get listing. Um, it's Saturday morning, so I got 50 out. I'm gonna do 25 for today and then I'm gonna get 25 ready for tomorrow. And then that way I won't have to come in tomorrow. So yeah, I just moved here um, and it's been, been a challenge. Um, there's been, you know, just a lot of, stuff that I wasn't expecting here in the unit that I had to get over. Um, you know, just little stuff. There've been a lot of uh, little problems that I've run into that have had very easy solutions, but uh, it's just been time consuming. So now everything is set up exactly how I want it. I'm still gonna be making fine tunes here and there. I should say it's set up exactly how I want it for the next five minutes until I turn the video off and then I'll change it again. But for now, it's good. Uh, I like the light system. Um, basically, I need new shelves. I'm gonna figure out what to do with the shelves next, but the lights are awesome. This light right here is on a swivel, so if I ever need light over here, I can just swivel it out, have light basically anywhere. Um, this unit does not have electric outlets. It just has an outlet outside, and so I have a heavy-duty uh, power cable coming in, and then it splits um, in a, one of those power th surge protectors. So it, it'll never damage any of my stuff. But um, basically I have the printer and scale and computer hooked up. And uh, I just, or I turn those on for shipping. And then I have the lights on right now for uh, what I'm doing, like listing and, and uh, photographing and stuff. So yeah, I, I have all the shipping supplies I need. Um, I'm pretty well set. Um, everything is, is nice, so I'm happy with how things have been going. Um, I don't see any major changes happening soon here. I'm thinking the next set of shelves is going to go on the end here. I'll put uh, a set of shelves right there, and then I'm going to start with, uh, it'll go H, I, and then I'm going to have J down here. So. I'll put J like somewhere in this area and then I'm going to start on this wall and do all the way down to Z down here. And when I do that, I'm thinking that I'm going to make it out of two by fours and stuff, two by fours and plywood. And then I'll make it so that this box here will fit perfectly into uh, the, 
the space. So then I'm just gonna get like 100 boxes that are the same size. I think you can get 100 for 120 bucks. Uh, so that's really, really cheap, $1.20 per box. And then I'll just have 100 of them on this wall. And right now I think there's about 80 or 90 here. I don't know, it sure doesn't seem like there's 90, but five, one, two, three, four, five, six times eight. No, that's definitely not eight, 90. There's like 48 or so here. Um, but I'm gonna hopefully have a hundred on this wall uh, and the way that I'm gonna do that is build it out to two by fours And then there won't be as much wasted space because see how these boxes have this gap I'll show you a nice example if you slide this box over and this box over You get this big gap here where you could fit like three more sweatshirts And then you could fit two more shirts right here and then two more shirts right here and then on the top also, this is wasted space. This whole sp space here, this space, this space, that's all wasted. So I'm getting four here. I could get five. If I built it myself, I could get five here. So it'd be five. And then I'd have even a sixth one right here and they'd be smaller boxes. They'd all be like this G8 here. So it'd be just more, more square on the sides. So you're not, not losing space. And a, a good example of the squareness is this one. See how right here, there's no gap at all. So you can't, there's no way that you can argue that shirts can fit in here and that I'm wasting space because you can't, you can't fit any shirts here. You can't fit any shirts here and you can't fit any shirts here. It's just, it's perfect for, for the space. And so I'd much rather have everything nice and smoothly fitting as opposed to this jumbled <clears throat> this jumbled mess that I have right now. Because it's like if you go to the International Space Station, you're like, wow, this is clean, this is nicely built, everything is perfect, um, and everything is clean. Whereas if you walk into some dumpster, you're gonna be like, ah, well, I guess I don't have to clean up after myself because the floor is already dirty, this cabinet hinge is falling off, and it just, it increases work ethic and, and your uh, mindset, I guess, if everything is more organized. And so this, this is perfect for, for me, but I'd like the next one to be even better. So the next one, um, I'm gonna <coughs> recruit some help and uh, just build the shelves exactly how I want them. And then <coughs> another thing, uh, that I, another issue that I've run into, I guess, is the boxes fall apart. So you just need to have some tape on hand. And I bought like 36 rolls a while back, and that, or maybe like six months ago, and I still have 12 at least left. And I've just been taping them as needed. Like this one really needed tape. This one's totally good, hasn't needed it at all. But when I get the 100 boxes, I'm gonna reinforce them with tape, and then they should be good to go. So 100 uh, cardboard boxes, like I said, is 120. But if you got 100 of these, these are around 10 or $12. So it'd be like 1,000 or 1,200 bucks. So that's another kind of savings um, with the shelving. So I'm saving like maybe 1,000 bucks on the totes. And then I'll have to spend more money on, on lumber <clears throat> instead of just buying uh, shelving units. So. There's a little bit of trade-off. I'm gonna have to do some hard work, but like I said, International Space Station Matic or the blueprint here. Um, basically, you can see it's just gonna be a bunch of, of boxes. So, like I said, I'll be able to do one, two, three, four, five, and then I can have the top one also. And five will be the exact same height as four of these. So, I'll do five high, and then these are, uh, there's gonna be 20 total boxes which uh, will have 40 items per box, and then that'll be 800 total per shelving unit. And these are slightly wider. These are six foot four wide, and these are like, I don't know, three feet or three foot two. I'm pretty sure they're three foot wide. But this will be slightly wider, um, but it'll hold uh, way more items. So uh, here's a drawing of what I, I currently have. These are the odd shaped boxes, and I over accentuated the, the wasted space in the middle but it's still, this is still a good drawing. <clears throat> so I put two next to each other in this drawing and could only get 480 total. So like I said, they're about three feet or three foot two. So at six foot wide, you can get 480. 
with the bins and then uh, with my system that I'm gonna make at six foot four wide so roughly the exact same uh, I can get 800 total items so you're comparing 480 to 800 total items in the same space roughly it'll be the 800 will be about as big as two of these these racks here so just with this setup here uh, I have like 1700 items or so like shirts and stuff in this system there's a few in here and then like 50 beauty products in here that are counting towards the 1700 but basically this is 1700 and I could have 2400 right here right now if I were to have my own uh, bins so this is just kind of how I'm able to increase the space or like the storage capacity for a reasonable price and for a good reason. So um, it'll be worth it in the end. Uh, I like the idea of saving the space and building it my own and everything. So that's just what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll show you guys how that goes. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see or any questions, uh, feel free to drop them below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one versus dumpster and so I think that in the end it'll be worth it and it'll definitely be something that I can take uh, to and from locations so when I move to like a really nice uh, climate controlled unit I'll be able to take the shelving with me and I'm also going to use a common size box so that I'll never uh, run into the problem that they don't have my size box I tried using these and these will always be in stock but uh, it's just the space is not there so I'm gonna get the cardboard boxes and uh, set that up I'll show you a quick schematic or drawing of it and then I'm gonna wrap the video up